Hello guys, welcome back uh, to another video and well, today, I don't know if you can tell already, but we're indoors and I'm going to be showing you another um, tutorial video and just hope you enjoy really. Uh, please make sure though to like and subscribe because uh, when you like and subscribe it, uh, it just helps me talk. I know it's like so fun. So guys, pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get up to the seat chase and then we can begin from where we were last time. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna make you watch through this entire thing. I'm just gonna um, quickly skip through it all really. And you won't have to watch. I'm gonna use the magic power of editing soon to just skip through all of it so you get just the joy. Okay, here we go. Just gonna skip through all of the videos. Canada got that and painting roll and dupe of seventeen. Oh, go through. Oh, come on. Ooh la la! Yink! Done! Ooh, wait, ooh la la! But, oh, bro, oh, oh no. Um, um, um. Well, that just happened. Um, I was saying ooh la la because of this. And I was right with ooh la la, but we just decided to come in with it, whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead again and boop. Here he is, the boy. Here he is, the seek. Done again. And here he is, the boy we ran from last time. Go on again. And split through. Okay, guys, this is pretty much where we last off so finally, after about two and a half minutes, we can actually be in the episode. You just watched a bunch of little short cuts I got for my video. Okay, we're back to 41. Now back to explaining, oh God, dark room again. This is where the screeches lie. All right, so back in going from 42 to 43 and a special monster lies away at number 15. Some of you may know it, some of you may not. And we're gonna explain him soon. This is an early ambush! Guys, if you did not know, this is ambush! He's like Rush except he rebounds! Also, he's meant to come later, not this time. There he is, go back in. Ambush is not meant to come here. He's a very scary and fast green monster. He usually is meant to come later, but apparently, he decided he's gonna wake up from his nap early. Is the man gone? I think so. Oh, there it is. Ambush out here ruining our day. Having a good day and then it just goes bad. Oh, we need 46. We're having a great time. Uh, Ambush just comes in and ruin it. Ambush is one of the harder entities. Not the hardest, but one of the hardest. I don't know if we should just pick it there. Come here. No, I didn't think so. Her flickers here, I'm done. Alright, okay, let's just continue through. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit shocked that ambush came there. Usually it meant to come that early. But, anyways, continue on to here we are, 48. And it's a dark room. How lovely. But, yeah. Ambush is one of the harder entities, harder to defeat, uh, and easily can defeat newer players. He usually comes around late again. Hello, drawer? Oh, the drawer is not entering. This is what I was on about. This is number 50. Let me quickly search these drawers. Now, number 15 is a special ball, because it's halfway through the entire of the complex. Right, however, problem is with this guy. Um, 
be a bit of a bummer. That's as you can see. You might recognise him from Strange Things or just straight off like a mouth. This guy is called Figure. He, I'm going to show you him quickly. He looks scary at first. He is blind. He cannot see one bit. Figure. To escape his library, you think you can go up there. Up there is a code. You have to find the code. This is one of the hardest things to do. One of the hardest. Figure is a very hard entity to, to survive. As you can see here. He, he doesn't look like it now. But I tell you, each book you get makes him faster. And I'm going to be explaining the code. And you'll know what I'm on about soon when I talk about books. So, in the library, the, there are these books you can interact with. There is Figgy Boy again. If you pick him up, it says X2. You're like, what does X2 mean? I don't know that. Simple enough, to be fair. I won't know what X2 means. Not unless it's some kind of algebra. But if we go again, Diamond 5. Don't know what I mean, Diva. Fair enough. Now, Figure Boy is somewhere else. And if you go to this specific location, always here, if you go across down here, you will find not only uh, some drawers with some nice gold in it, but you will find this piece of paper here. And then this piece of paper looks also really confusing. But it really isn't too hard. Okay, it's really hard. I'm going to admit, it's really hard. But, um... Yeah, really hard, but it, you'll get the hang of it. So, you'll, you'll see the shapes here. If I, I can't show you it now, but the camera there, look, X2, Diamond 5. So, you don't have to remember this. But, if you look, I'm going to point to it. X right there, and then X2 is over here, which you can't see. So, X equals 2. This paper tells you the order. These books tell you the numbers. So you need to collect all the books, which, if you want to know the number, is eight. Eight books, and then this code will tell you the answer. So far, we only have one, which X2. So right now, we have question mark, question mark, question mark, two, question mark. I don't know if you're following along, but I'll probably make another video about this in case people don't understand this right now. But yes. So here we are, and they're a figure ball. This can be one of the harder, um, harder places to be indoors. One of the hard places to be. It took me ages to be able to beat this. See, and now we have circle equals full. Then add into code. So now we have full, question mark, question mark, and then two. Don't forget this one. This is triangle full. So if we check the paper. Uh, now, there's no triangle. That was pointless. But it will give you bad books, so you kind of got to deal with it go through here also quick tip so you don't have to look for everywhere the books make a tinkling sound so you can listen so it's not all like just look and then you have to find it you can also listen see so we don't have many but this isn't the only section where you can find those books these books can also be found up in this section can be found anywhere where there are bookshelves or anything really now for check this. Go check the box. You can hear the twinkling sound. I can. I don't know if you can. There we go. Square equals four. Now, if we check this circle, so four, 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 question mark, two, question mark. And these will be answered in a second. As soon as figure, because figure can be a bit inconvenient sometimes. As soon as figure moves along, we can go down here, see that there is a book. That's what we need. And that is not what we need, but this is what we need. So now we know the code, as in the bottom, all eight pieces right there. Now if I check this, figure's going to be really angry now, that's why he's really fast. If we check the code, we look through, we have four, four, nine two and three so four four nine two three and then you look over here you go in here and you go four four nine two three 
and then the door is open and you're out of that library. It might look a little easy, but I tell you, it is really hard to get the hang of. Now, door number 52. Here, you're already wondering what this is. Let me, let me just go back quickly, you know. Like, you're probably too overwhelmed. Let me just open this door quickly. Let me in! You know what I mean. But, okay, now, okay, prepare for overwhelmless of entities. Here we are. This looks like a dump, yeah, I know. Looks like a dump. Here is Bob. That's the first person I'm going to talk about because he's dead. He's a dead skeleton. If you hold him, sex bit. Oh, what are you surprised? Nothing happens. I wonder why. He's a skeleton. So, skeleton here, Bob. Skeleton Bob is dead. What you expect to happen? He's dead. Okay, we go to this guy. This is a live guy. He is El Goblino. He will stay things. I uh, don't, don't know what that says. Uh, yes, I'm stupid. Okay, Jesus. Uh, I don't know if that says, like, Oi, what do you want? Don't try to steal from Jeff, man. He'll make you pay. You should call him Jeff the Killer or something. I don't imagine that. I don't think he's voice being like that. This is the main guy that's here. Jeff, the boy. Jeff. Here he is. Jeff shop. Oh, oh. It's like Jeff two hop. Jeff does two hops a day. That's what he does. But, jokes aside, he here is he. And you're like, we've seen vitamins, that's in my inventory. We've seen a lighter, that's also in my inventory. And we've seen lockpicks, that's also in my inventory. We haven't seen this. If I pick this up, this is called a skeleton key. This skeleton key allows you to get a ton of gold and something called the herb of the vibe I think. I don't know, I can't pronounce it correctly. But... Here is our skeleton key. Very rare. Sadly, I can't show you this. There would be a crucifix. A, a cross, pretty much. And you buy it from Jeff for the same amount as the skeleton key. And you were able to use it to kill an entity. Maybe another ep episode, whilst I'm getting here, I might pick it up and then come back. Anyways, this is the skeleton key. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the skeleton key does. And then I think that's where we're going to end it today. Okay? So... Uh, yeah, by the way, if you're thinking about turning off Jeff's radio, all the buttons and twisting all the buttons and knobs seem to do nothing. So don't try it. Also, you, you can give Jeff some tips. You may be like, why do you give Jeff tips? Well, because he does his happy dance. So you give him tips. You don't give him tips, it's evil. Jeff needs to go to college. So, right, but t tip Jeff. Also, if you get him to the top of the jar like this, which costs, I think, like 100 coins, uh, you'll get an achievement for this. I've already got this. So, anyways. Nah, let me read out with Goblino again. Oi, hombre, could you get me a bite? <laughs> uh, yeah, that. He, he just waited on to that random stuff, you know. But, you know, El Goblino looks pretty cool. He's chill. These entities are very chill, so they won't kill you. Peaceful entities. Okay, anyways, we're going to continue on. And I'm going to get you to the skeleton room. And that's probably going to be it for this episode. Got to 55. So you've got to keep track of what number you're on. As I said before, dupe can be a bit of a bummer if you're not careful. And I'm glad that won't do because I totally forgot. I'm going to quickly check out this room again because we all know these rooms are really, really good. Guys, we just hit the jackpot. As I said, a crucifix. Here it is. These crucifixes can be sold from Jeff and lie in these treasure chests, which is really good. This crucifix can kill an entity. It has power, very much power. So we will use this probably on Rush today. Uh, but yes, we'll use this on Rush today. Oh. Eyes. Or do I, should I use it on eyes? I think I'm going to use it on eyes for today's episode. But then, for the next episode, we're going to do something else. So, here you go, guys. This is a really cool cutscene. There it is. Dead. The 
crucifix goes away, but so does our eyes. So that's just a quick example, just to show you. Anyways, let's quickly get through this so I can show you. As this episode's been quite long, 15 minutes, jeez. Hope you guys are interested about the duels or I ain't getting many views on this video. <laughs> Anyways, let's quickly go through this. This is a double basement, which is really annoying. A yeah, double basement is pretty much just a basement, which, can you guess it? It's double. If you couldn't guess that, I don't think you can guess anything really. Double basement. Anyways, yeah, double basement. Jokes aside. Good. 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 Oh no, Rush. The finding this leaving thing is so annoying sometimes. You got you guys in the future, as soon as you get understanding about doors, you will know you hate this room. Everyone does when you're trying to do a doors game, this will get in the way. We'll always get in the way, we'll always be annoying. You won't get done when this is happening. Look, all my light sources are running out thanks to this. It's always really, 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 I'm gonna say really like five more times. Really annoying. Just, just don't ever say this is good. This basement is a nightmare. And I think I've missed, oh, I've missed the lever. See, this is the problem. You miss something, you've gotta go all the way back. You guessed it, all the way back again. Jesus. Go down here. I probably missed it somewhere and I don't know where I've missed it at. It's down there somewhere, lovely. So yeah, thankfully guiding lights here so it'll help you eventually. But yeah, put on your boots. You're gonna need some help for this. Oh, there. Yeah, it is really, really, really annoying, this one. Now, I know I'm saying that a bunch, but it is, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So be prepared for a torturous nightmare. Literally, it's hell. Okay, going through again. We're gonna quickly speed through, go to 63. Usually this skeleton key room will be at 66, so I'll be able to show you there. Let's speed through, vitamins. <laughs> Oh, here it is. So, this room right here, this is skeleton key door. If you buy the skeleton key from Jeff, you can open it. I totally recommend buying skeleton key from Jeff. So, if you go in these drawers, you'll notice there is a lot more gold than usual. And I mean a hell of a lot. You see how much gold I've got then? I almost have 1,000. You can't see. Let me point the camera. Look, can you see that? Yep. I don't know. Kind of. Look, I have 895 to be exact, but that is loads. And one main people do this, Herb of Vidness. You can get an achievement for this, and when you take damage, uh, there's a leaf in the corner you can't see. I'm going to try to point you towards it. Oh, whoops. I'm spinning you new about the amount of this. See, there it is in the bottom. Leaf. Leaf in the bottom, and that'll heal you. It's like a power. Anyways, though, guys, that's where we're going to leave it today. I know you guys are like, oh, my, oh, want to learn more and stuff. Well, no, probably not. I don't know that because I don't remember my video. But whatever. That's just some doubt in my mind. Let's forget about that. Uh, I'm going to quickly remind you before the video ends. Please, 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 and another please, like and subscribe. This has been a long episode and just annoying. Annoying episode, really. But, you know, another Donald's tutorial done. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you know, like and consider subscribing. If you don't like my channel, you can unsubscribe later. You know, I don't wouldn't really want that, but you still, you know, you can unsubscribe later. Anyways, I'm gonna see you later. Now, bye bye.